I'm Dr. Andrew Newberg, and I've recently written a book entitled Neurotheology, How Science Can Enlighten Us About Spirituality. Neurotheology is an emerging field of study, of scholarship, that helps us to understand the relationship or the link between our brain and our religious and spiritual selves. Now, and a couple of important points I want to stress in this video about what neurotheology actually is. So first of all, it's important to realize that neurotheology is not just a scientific study of religion and spirituality. Conversely, it's not just a religious or theological analysis of science. It's taking these two most, the two most powerful forces in human history, the science and technological on one side, and the religious and spiritual on the other side, and trying to bring them together in a constructive dialogue that helps us to better understand the, each of these different dimensions of humanity, as well as humanity itself. Now, for neuro, neurotheology to work as a term, I also like to say a couple of other things. One is, is that the neuro and the theology part need to be defined very broadly. So the neuro part is not just neuroscience and neuroimaging, although we can do brain scans of people engaged in spiritual practices like meditation and prayer, but it can also include medicine, psychology, even anthropology and sociology, all the different ways that we can get at what's going on inside of ourselves, inside of our brain, and inside of our mind. Now, on the other hand, theology is a very specific discipline that takes a particular religious tradition and tries to break it down and understand it in very detailed, very philosophical kinds of ways. And we can look at how our brain engages theological questions about free will, the nature of sin, what God is actually like, for example, and how human beings are supposed to behave in their world. But theology is also very limited, and for neurotheology to work as a field and as a concept, we need to broaden that aspect as well. So it's not just theology, but it is the ability to look at various religious practices, the experiences that people have, different beliefs and different belief systems. In fact, we can look at all the different kinds of religious and spiritual traditions that are out there and that people engage in as part of their lives. Now, ultimately, I hope that neurotheology provides a very interesting, integrative, and hybrid approach that will help us to deepen our understanding of ourselves and how we as human beings understand the world and understand the ways in which we are to act and believe in the world around us.